JFL Williams, videos. Computer, a functional definition. Computers are everywhere, inside of calculators, television remote controls, cars, and even our phones. Over time, the definition for a computer has become generalized, so when we have a computing device of any kind, we often refer to it as a computer. Most of these devices are actually a collection of functional computers that can range in size from an office floor to the fraction of the size of a fingernail. The word computer actually represents a sequence of functions initiated by an action or event, which the computer processes according to its programming, and produces a programmed output. In this presentation, the definition for computer will not be given in general, but in specific functional terms. The essential primary functional components of a computer are Input, Output, Processing, Information Storage and Retrieval, and Control. These functions operate in a specific sequence and require a control capture and release of information to yield the required results. The core functions are Input, Processing, and Output. Input, typically an action, like a press of the Enter or Return key, data presentation or output from another computer that will be interpreted by the processor as an event which requires some process to be initiated. Processing, once initiated, the processor seeks and retrieves data and processes it in accordance with the stored programming. Output, once the processor has completed its programmed steps, it will output information to a specific device or interface, like a printer, storage device, display or even another computer, this output could be legible data, an action or event. Processing requires the CPU or processor to retrieve and store information as required to complete the process. The process will require the use of both static and dynamic data which is stored in RAM, random access memory, or ROM, read-only memory. All functions require control and sequencing and device selection. This is facilitated by a written program. Programs are static and cannot be modified by the other functions. The bulk of the program will be executed by the processor and if properly written, will have the required logic to deal with unexpected conditions. Data will always flow in the direction indicated by the arrows. Reversing the direction will change the function of a device. Today we do in fact have intelligent printers and other devices which can send information back to the process. However, they are separate computers and must return information back to the processor's input and remain under the control of the program. The control program will have been logically designed to accept and process this new data. Computers cannot operate in isolation. All computers must interact with external intelligence or processes, external interactions or events like a key press from a person, device or another computer is always required. Any number of computers can be connected together, but only as input or output devices, as for example, the output of one computer can be the input or data source for another. Additionally, no function within this definition can be replaced by another computer, as it would only represent an input or output device, or source. Happy computing! Please comment and subscribe to JFL Williams's channel.